Hello and welcome back to What The Math. Today I'm going to show you how to plot the box whisker plots on your GDC, on your calculators, specifically TI-84 uh, Silver Edition. Now we're going to use the example of used before. This is example 11 from I believe page 186 in, in your book. And we're going to use a GDC to try to construct a whisker plot um, that you may need to construct on a test. So first of all, turn on your calculator. Okay, continue. Yes, continue please. All right, so go into your stat, edit, enter all of the values. You don't have to be in order, just enter them as, as you see fit. And then uh, go into stat again, calculate and one variable stats. This will give you your mean, median and interqualitative -qual range and so on and so forth. So once you have this, you can actually start plotting this. To plot this, you obviously need to click on graph, but you won't see anything yet. You won't actually see anything yet. Uh, I'm actually gonna reset this because I did this before. Let's, uh, let me just reset this very quickly. So, um, and you don't see anything yet because uh, for stat plots, you actually have to enable them. So click on second Y, this is called stat plot. Go into the, uh, let's just do plot number two. Go into plot, it doesn't have to be two, one or two, doesn't actually matter. Uh, turn this on and scroll down to where you see something that looks like the uh, box whisker plot, which is right here, it's number five. Click on that and make sure that this is set to L1. And if you have frequency, you, you can change your frequency as well to L2 or whatever it is, whatever value it is in stat. Uh, and that's it, really, that's it. So now click on graph. Um, you may see it, you may not see it, depending on the values, uh, but this is not the best uh, looking um, whisker plot. So to make it better, there's actually a specific function that your calculator has. If you click on zoom and you scroll down to number nine, number nine is called zoom stat. And this is an automatically selected zoom for, for basically for statistics. And this will make your plot much, much better looking. So this is a really good example of how to do this. So basically this is a whisker, box whisker plot for the stats we just entered. And if you want to check your values, click on trace and this will uh, enable you to jump through different values. So for example, right here, it's, it's already on the median and it shows you median is six. Uh, upper quartile is eight. Your maximum value is nine. Your lower quartile is three and your uh, minimum value is one. And this is actually one of the easiest, most convenient ways of solving these types of problems, including uh, redrawing box whisker plots that you can then just copy from your calculator in case you forgot how to draw it. And that's really it. It's really that easy. Basically stat, uh, enter your values, click on one variable stats, then go to stat plot, enable stat plot and graph it. And if you, if you don't see it, make sure that you, you go into, um, zoom stat and you click on zoom stat. All right. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Good luck to you and bye bye.